Hi there and welcome to tutorial 3 for the Edexcel Statistics 1 A-level course and it's on coding the mean. As always, do feel free to check out youtube.com slash Maths for help with your studies. Okay, so coding is used to change large numerical data values into numbers that are easier to work with and generally it comes in the form y equals x minus a over b where a and b are to be chosen so if we have particularly large x values or uh, data points we can change them by you know taking away a number and then maybe dividing by a number to transform it to something that's a little bit easier to use so let's actually crack on and have a look at an example just to see how this works so first one here we've got a data set and it says use the following coding and find the mean so this is the coding i'm going to use so each data point x i'm going to divide by 10 to get the corresponding y so 110 divided by 10 is 11. 120 divided by 10 is 12. we get 13 14 and 15. and now what i need to do is work out the mean of this data set so I'm working out y bar. So y bar is going to be found by adding up all these data points, 11 plus 12, 13, 14, and 15, adding them all together, dividing by the number of data points, five, so we get 13. Similar scenario here, 110 take away 100 gives me 10. 120 take away 100 is 20 and so on and so forth 30 40 and 50 and we're going to work out y bar here by adding all, all these together and dividing by 5 and divide that by 5 we get 30 And the final one here, it's going to be the value of x, take away 100, and then divide that by 10. So 110, take away 100 is 10, and 10 divided by 10 is 1. And hopefully you notice that it's actually just all of these values divided by 10. So we get 2, 3, 4, and 5. And when we work out y bar, we're going to get 3. And that's how you code a data set. So just substitute the values into the code to get a new value. Right, time for you to have a go. So here's a set of data. Uh, use the coding and find the mean. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. Uh, here are the solutions. So mark off your work, see how you did there. Okay, now coding has... Um, pretty unique feature here so that if you consider that y equals x minus a over b well that actually means that y bar equals x bar minus a over b so what in fact does that mean it tells me that if I have the mean of the coded data and I want the mean of the original data well I can just set up a little equation and then solve for x bar so that's what I'm saying here to find the mean of the original data, use the mean of the coded data and equate it to the coding and solve for x. Or x bar, if you like. So if you remember our example from earlier, we had, uh, this was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and y bar was equal to 3. If I want to find x bar, well, from up here we know that y bar equals x bar minus a which is 100 over 10 so substituting 3 in for y bar we get 3 3 equals x bar minus 100 over 10 so 30 equals x bar minus 100 which means x bar adding 100 to both sides 
is 130 and let's just confirm our answer by checking the mean of the original data set so 110 plus 120 plus 130 plus 140 plus 150 adding them all together and then divide that by 5 and we'll see that x bar is indeed 130 so okay enough from me time for you to have a go so pause the video now and try these questions here okay so hopefully you've had a go at those questions um here are the solutions so we just set up the equation like before and then solve for x bar uh, we got 266 here and 196 so mark off your work see how you did okay so you should now be able to do exercise 2e from the edxl s1 textbook uh, that's all from me hopefully you found the video useful and um, i'll talk to you again sometime take it easy